Hey guys, welcome back to channel Surge here and here we're back on the Tunnel 11 for the Tunnel 11 Let's Play. Where now you have five of the five builders and the laboratory ready to get something going inside of there. And our main goal for today is to get the Warden up to level 20. Right now he is at level 17. So we need three more levels before getting him up to max at Town Hall 11. So let's head on straight away by heading over to the progress base and getting a bunch of upgrades going to start off today. We're gonna head over to the walls and get a bunch of these upgraded because we are gonna be doing an hour boost once again using the mass dragon attack strategy and we'll upgrade a bunch of these we are getting pretty close to finishing all of the walls we'll probably even finish it by the next episode i think that is a good place to start off or to stop upgrading the walls with elixir we're gonna head down and use the gold on the wizard tower here i got it up to level seven from level one in the last video. So we'll get this up to level eight, two more levels before it is maxed out at 2.56 million gold in an almost three day time. We'll get that going down there. Four builders left and we should get most of that completed by the end of the video. We don't have any more loot to spend other than inside the laboratory. So we'll get something going inside of there and it will be the minions going up to level seven, 72,000 dark elixir in a five and a half day time going down there. We're going to save that book of fighting for something else, a longer upgrade than just five days. We're going to head on to a bunch of attacks now and get into a bunch more loot so we can upgrade the warden up to max level. And the first raid of the day is this Tunnel 11 with 800,000 of each, a decent find to start off the day. We're going to be using three lightning spells instead of the four that I used in the uh, video where I showed off this army. And because you only really need three lightning spells to take down one of the air defenses. And we are going to take down the one on the left side here. We'll take down that one and we'll use a blimp to go for the core and probably the king and queen towards the very top of the base. So we'll drop the very the king at the very top with the queen right around here. We'll drop the uh, dragon at the very top and one on the right to create the funnel for these dragons to path in towards the air defense and that single target in front of the tower. We'll drop the rest of the dragons now with the balloons and the warden. The queen actually used her abilities, same with the king. So we're gonna have to work around that over there. We're going to rage and freeze as that one of the dragons is about to go down. The balloons will take down the air defense and inferno tower over there very easily. We even dropped a poison spell for the heroes inside the core of the base. We're going to drop our clan castle raid spell directly on top of the uh, expo as that does go down. We're going to use the warren ability here through the uh, eagle shots. And we have one more rage and freeze which we'll use towards the left side on these dragons and even freezing that uh, air sweeper to allow for the dragons to path their way in towards the town hall compartment and get all of the buildings down inside the core huge group of balloons towards the bottom left the uh army buildings or the army balloons and the clan castle balloons going over to the left side we're going to freeze the inferno tower and the expo to allow for those guys to work over there and this should be a very easy three star on this town hall 11 getting all of the loot and hitting on to a bunch more of these attacks this is the first attack of the boost it is actually getting pretty close but if we don't get the three star that is fine we'll get all of the loot just like that storage goes down over there on the left side and it looks like we will just send off this attack by only getting a 95% two star, not too bad. We are farming, so I don't really care about getting a three star, but getting almost a million of each from the first attack. And the final attack of the day is a tunnel 12 with 1.1 million gold and almost 900,000 elixir. We're gonna go with the legend spells towards the very bottom of the base, or we can even take down the archer queen because we are trying to go from the very bottom with our dragons and stuff. We'll drop the lightning spells here in a couple of seconds as the queen gets in range with the wizard tower there. We actually missed with the lightning spells, which is fine. We'll drop the dragons towards the very bottom. We'll actually drop another one towards the left side because the collectors are directly towards the bottom. There are a couple towards the top, but the majority of them are very down towards the bottom of the base. We'll drop the rest of the balloons, the warden, and we'll rage these guys immediately heading into the base and even dropping the, uh, whatever that 
thing is called, the Battle Blimp. I forgot what the thing was called. We'll drop that there. The Warden ability as well, and we'll use the uh, Clan Castle Raid spell in the core for all these balloons and stuff to take down the Town Hall and the Eagle Artillery in the core of the base, obliterating the entire core. We're even going to drop the heroes on the top right to get even more of this loot. We'll drop a freeze on the left in front of tower and a raid spell somewhere else, maybe even on the left side as well. We have a raid spell and a freeze still left to use. Uh, the final in front of tower goes down on the right. Actually, there is one towards the top. We use the final raid spell over here, King's ability, and we have one more freeze which we're going to use on the single target in front of tower to hopefully get this three star. They should get in range in a couple seconds. We'll have to drop it on that air defense to get the uh, dragons to go over closer and closer over to the final targeting air defenses over there. Queen's ability on the right side and we should get this three star on this town hall uh, 12. Queen will head over and take down the air defense and how about the king take down that in front of tower so that we can take down the rest of the buildings and get this three star on this town hall 12 getting a bunch of the loot from this one here, all of it, and filling up the gold storages. Very close to filling up the gold storages. We're at 400,000 left before we fill that up. That was the final attack of the boost, and we'll head over and train another army for another day. We have full gold and almost full elixir, so let's get a bunch of upgrades going on the base. We'll start off by upgrading a bunch of our defenses. We'll start off by upgrading the wizard tower, the second last one up to level 10, 5.76 million gold in a seven day time. And we're going to use a book of building because this is the longest defensive upgrade. So we'll get that going down there. The fourth wizard tower is now max. We have one more to go and it has two or three more levels left to go. We're gonna upgrade one of these Teslas and upgrading a couple more since we'll, we will be using uh, the Rune of Gold that will fill up the gold storages here since we are pretty low and we need to upgrade two more since we want to use up all five of these builders. So we'll head back over to the Teslas and upgrade two more, 3.6 million gold in a six day time for both of these uh, Teslas here. One more builder left and it is for the Warden to go up to max level. He is about to regenerate his health so he can go up to another attack but he will be going up to max level now we'll get him up to level 18 6 million elixir and we'll skipping the five and a half day time because we have a couple of hero books that we can use on the king or the uh, warden we'll head over to the season pass and i did actually complete a couple more challenges so we can get one more of the book of heroes so we can use on the king and then immediately getting him back up to level 18 there and all the way up to the treasury i had save up a ton of loot an elixir inside of there and also a bunch inside of the season pass once again so we'll quickly collect all of the elixir from in here and then upgrade the warden up to level 19 6.4 million elixir in a five and a half day time once again heading back over to the season pass and we'll collect the book of heroes and the shadow queen skin since we haven't collected that yet and there is two days left in the season. We'll get him up to level 19 using the final book of heroes and one more upgrade left to go on the warden. We're going to skip on the cost and the time by using a hammer of heroes that I bought inside the league shop. And we'll get the final hero on town hall 11 maxed out for this account and there we go our final hero is now maxed out at level 20 we can move this guy over with the rest of the heroes on the max side of the base so now all we have to worry about is the defenses the traps the collectors and all of the dark elixir troops inside of the laboratory i always forget this when we max out one of the heroes by using a book of heroes or hammer that we still have one more builder remaining so we're going to quickly upgrade the tesla the final tesla up to max level so getting all the teslas and upgrading all of the wizard towers up to max level another 3.6 million gold for that there but now that we have all the builders working and the laboratory going as well that is going to do it for today's video hopefully you enjoyed it and if you did want to see some more tunnel 11 content on my channel make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one peace out